Morning again and welcome back everyone to another Super Shades video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind Squad Goals. Thank you so much for clicking into the video and for joining me. Hopefully you got yourself something that's cold and delicious and a comfy chair. Will it on in? Come on in. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm super excited today. We're going to be using the Carbon Razor. This is a razor that I've had before, right? I've used before with you guys. But today we're going to be rocking it out with the plus plus plate. You can see it right there, the plus plus plate. This is the most efficient razor by Sarah and Sean over at Carbon. And I'm really excited to share it with you. We've got it loaded up with some Derby premium black blades. As you guys know, I like those blades quite a bit. And I'm really excited to give them a try out on the dome today. We're rocking on like 30 hours of growth, so we'll see how it does with the additional enhanced, the extra efficiency. We're going to be rocking out with um, Sam Sawin. I'm going to say it right, Sawin Samhain, Salmon from Southern Witchcraft, guys. I want another I want another fall scent. I don't care. The, the wind last night was blowing, and it was a little chilly. And I was like, ooh, fall air, baby? Not quite, but it, it's getting there. This right here is bourbon and pumpkin to me. I love it. It's boozy. It's kind of darker. It's spicy. Oh, I, I've mentioned it before. This is my favorite all-time uh, fall scent ever. Like If you're looking for a Halloween scent that's a little sweeter, a little pumpkin, a little boozy, it's that one. That right there for me, Southern Witchcrafts, it is, um, Samhain is by far my absolute favorite. I have it on the dome already, but you guys take a look at this. Look at the shine and shimmer on that soap. Look at the shine and shimmer. It is, I'm telling you, the stuff that they're producing is phenomenal over at Southern Witchcraft. Look! Oh, so good. And I've already got it whipped up and on the dome. On the dome with my, this right here, guys, is, I want to say this right, Smiles Per Miles brush. Right there, Smiles Per Miles. Really cool brush. It looks like kind of like a pumpkin. I love that brush. It came from my buddy Colin. Love that brush so much. All right. So you guys, are you guys excited? I know I'm really excited. Thank you, my friends, so much for being here again. Oh, and I wanted to mention, I'm going to go on top of that with Bourbon and Oak by Cremo. This right here is a cheap set. You can sometimes get it for like 7 or $8 at Walmart, and it is fire. I love it. I think it pairs really well with these fall scents, spicy scents. All right, so we're going to be doing this right here with like 50-ish grams with uh, the plus plus plate. It is positive exposure, and it has actually slightly less exposure than the plus plate. So the way carbon works is it has the most exposure on the base plate, and then exposure is reduced as gap is increased. Kind of interesting. I think it helps keep things pretty standard while still able to increase the efficiency. We're going to grab ourselves a little alum, wipe our hand across that, and get a little bit more grip, even though this really is a grippy little razor. Really nice. I think the shape fits my hand really well. I love the knurling. You can just see that the form and function of this razor is to the top T, right? My opinion here, there's lots of razors being made today, but I think this really is one of those razors that it just sits at the top echelon of elite razors. Elite razory, as I put it. Really pretty, right? Really nice. Full polish, and any marks you guys see are my fingerprints. That's the one downside of polish, is you are going to see fingerprints. This is a fingerprint magnet. Dawn dish soap, guys, is the only way you're really going to get around it. And even that, you're going to still see some fingerprints later on, especially as you start shaving. All right, yes, let's see how it does today. First swipe on the dome, 30 hours. It's super smooth. To be really honest, it doesn't feel like that much more aggressive. You would think, you know, you're getting the plus plate over the plus, because I've been using the plus um, plate now for like two weeks. I, like anytime I get a chance, I use the plus plate. To be really honest with you guys, I get off camera, I do my face with the plus plate. I love the plus plate. I think the plus plate's one of those cookie kill, uh, cutter raiders, razors for me. And I wanted to get a lot of experience with it before just saying it's the best, right? I know that people tend to do that. Buyer confirmation, you were like, oh, I got this new thing, it's the best thing. I have given the plus plate a lot of use. And I really think that is a forgiving, enjoyable shaver. Now this, ah, I like this a lot. Okay. It is a little bit more efficient. And that was my one downside with the plus plate is that while I'm shaving, I end up doing a third pass and then some cleanup every single time. This feels like it's getting a little bit more down for me. For, just in my opinion, I'm not positive. It feels like I'm getting a little bit more down. 
It is a very light razor, and I love that. It makes it very nimble. Oh, I have used, what is it now, guys? Like 500? Something like that. 500 razors. Some We've used a lot of razors here. And I rarely have said, you know, oh, I, I can't live my life without owning this razor. I feel that way about the carbon. <laughs> I feel that way very strongly. I love this one. I, it sits out on my desk when I'm not shaving. It's one of the ones I'm really proud to own. It was a Quest razor. It was a Grail razor. And I'm so excited because we now own all three plates for the carbon. Oh, and Sean and Sarah have really gone another way to make sure that this razor is one that's going to shave everything that you would expect. To be honest, really absolutely above and beyond as far as the, the shave quality. And it is a razor that is actually designed around or inspired by the older tech, 40s tech razors, right? The 40s era razors. And I really believe because of that, it has great heritage built into the razor. Great heritage and it really does imitate and kind of shave similar to the tech we just used the other day. You guys know I love that. Oh. <laughs> and so to have something like that in titanium, right? You get a little bit more nimbleness, different skin fill, really, really smooth skin fill. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really good. It's stupid good. It's shaving a lot closer than the plus plate for me. On the second pass here. Second pass that we're just kind of going around. This is more of like a cleanup pass for me on the plus plate is what it feels like. This is like four passes in at this point with the plus plate. So this is definitely giving me more bite. Oh, you can hear it just knocking it down. It has good audible feedback to it. You do have to cut the blade tabs off on this razor. And I do want to mention this again. It's beautiful and as long and as enjoyable as that handle is. It is threaded in UF. And because of that, you're not going to be able to use it with all your handles, all your heads. I mean, it is not compatible with most heads on the modern market. So you're not going to, you know, be putting this on your Henson, for example. That's fine. I don't know why you would want to. I think if you had this handle, you probably are happy with just using it on the carpet. It is phenomenal as is. Oh, yeah. What's interesting to me is, say you own the carbon, but you want to swatch the handle over, right? You're like, I want a different handle today. That does work. You can thread the other way around for some reason, so the head cap works with other handles, but the other heads from other brands don't work with other with this handle, for in my experience. So I've been able to put on, you know, like any handle I've wanted on this head, and not vice versa with the, this handle on any other head. If that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense here. Just know that the handle on this razor is kind of its own situation. Take a look. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see, right? That's the money. That means it's a leprechaun razor right there, guys. That is a marshmallows only. Oh, it's really hard to say. It's super hard to say, you know. Run out, get your, get your credit card, get your visa, get your... Because this is expensive. This is not cheap. And honestly, I've been doing this for a long time now. It feels like a long time now. And just finally got this. So for me, it took me a long time to say to myself, it's worth it to me. It's worth it. Oh, it's such a good shave. I really feel like the plus plate and the plus plus plate, that there is just enough a difference for me where I'd reach for the plus plus plate maybe a little bit more. It's kind of like the difference between the original plus uh, plus plus and the uh, plus 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 with the Henson. So the medium versus the aggressive on the original Henson. There's not a ton of difference, but there's enough difference that I would want this one versus the other, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not doing any pressing here. I'm just letting the razor do its thing. Very, very comfortable. I'm learning how this razor kind of wants to sit. Keep in mind, this is the first time I've used it. So it's like, it's still kind of a learning experience for me. Even though that I've been using the plus plate, this shaves at a little different angle, in my opinion. Feels like it's a different angle. Just a titch with all the additional gap. Oh, yeah. Really sweet. Wow. I really do think this is phenomenal. It is a light razor. If you're not a fan of light razors, you're not going to like this. But I love a light razor. I like Bakelite razors for the same reason. I feel like Bakelite doesn't get enough love. I really love light razors. And this, just for me, oh, really? I mean, come on. What else? Come on. Just look at this. So good. 
So good, so much faster than my plus plate too. Just so much faster. I will say this feels a little bit more, I would say a little bit, a tiny bit, teeny tiny bit. I wanna stress how small that is. Fraction of a bit, a little bit more aggressive. It really does. It doesn't feel quite as like, I will never hurt myself. Like the plus plate for me, even though it has a little blade feel to it, it's so forgiving. This definitely felt like I had a little bit more bite to it as I was shaving. It reminded me I was shaving versus just running a metal metallic item on my head. BBS guys, so durable. Absolutely like old type close, old type close for no effort. Absolutely phenomenal for me. Oh, what a shave. Yeah, I, I personally, as a dome shaver, I like the plus plus plate a little bit more. That's just for me. I love how nimble this head is. See how I can go right here, go around my ears. Like just everything about this is easy. It's extraordinarily um, friendly. I think friendly is the only word I've been able to come up with. It feels very friendly, but very, very inviting, right? You're not scared the entire time, but it's giving you a shave <laughs> that you know is gonna last for 17, 18 hours. Wow. Really close, we're super comfortable. I just keep rubbing my head, love it. Absolutely love it. I think it's worth it, I really do. I feel like investing in proper, expensive, nice, maybe one razor, once in your life, is not a bad thing. I really do. And I keep telling my wife that, that's like the eighth time I've said that. So, <laughs> I must feel it, right? At least one time, eight times. Oh, excellent shave, wow, yeah. Definitely, definitely worth acquiring. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has been interesting for you. For me, I really find the plus plate to be a daily shave easily every single day without a problem. It loves my neck. The rigidity the head cap puts on the blade, my neck hair loves it. I, I can shave my neck and it, I, it's actually more comfortable to have a shaved neck than a hairy neck. If you can believe that, it's actually more comfortable after I've shaved with the carbon. I really love how rigid the head cap puts uh, on, or the force it puts on the blade because that makes it so rigid. It's an awesome shaver. Really is beautiful and it's super fun to use. <laughs> it's really fun to use. The little lightness to it is just nimble. Oh, thank you guys for joining me. I'll catch you in the next Subi Shaves video before I start rambling. Subi, <laughs> out.